Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a swatch and review, kind of first impressions slash review of the Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collection. This is Khloe Kardashian's collection with Kylie Cosmetics and it is called the Coco Collection with a K as always. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the highlighting palette or the face palette. What is this actually called? Pressed powder palette, I guess. So the packaging itself is paper and it's kind of a bronzy gold shade. It's really beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then it says Coco Collection in white with the names of each product on the back. It does have a mirror. It has a nice long mirror um, with, and it has Chloe's signature right here in the bottom left corner. So we have a matte pink blush. This is definitely more on the pink side, but it is a bit warmer. So it's not quite a peach, but it's not quite a pink. So this is the pink that I am typically attracted to because it's not going to be too cool. It's not going to be too warm. It's gonna work on the majority of skin tones. It's a nice kind of medium shade. So you can kind of tone it down or amp it up. It is matte, but it does appear to have, when you look at it up close, it does appear to have a very, 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 very tiny amount of fine gold pearl, which is typically more flattering on more skin tones. I absolutely love the formula. It's very lightweight. It feels like satin on the skin. It's easy to build up, like I said, or tone down. Um, and I do, I am wearing it today, just a very light amount. I don't know how well you can see it because I kind of mixed it with the bronzer um, because I am quite fair right now. So I don't like going in with a ton of blush when I'm quite fair, but I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. And the blush is called Rodeo Drive. All right, next up is this stunning highlighter. This is so beautiful. I'm wearing it today. It's a really beautiful pale gold. So it has a little bit of a neutrally undertone, but then the overtone is a nice pale gold. So they're going to combine so that it's not going to be a coppery gold or it's going to pull too yellow, but it's just gonna give you a really beautiful kind of shift. It's very difficult for fair skin girls to get away with wearing a gold highlighter, but I am my palest right now. I mean, this is as pale as it gets and it absolutely works for me. It looks stunning. I love it. I used it all over my face and it does, it kind of gives you a bronzy glow without making you look like you're wearing an orange or straight up yellow highlighter. The formula is extremely pigmented. It's very buttery. It swatches beautifully. As soon as I got this, I knew that I was going to love that. And this highlighter is called Troop Beverly Hills. Right next to it, we have another highlighter. This is more of a rose gold. It has sort of a bronze rosy undertone with again, that fine gold pearl. I haven't actually used this shade yet. I would probably use it as a bronzer overlay just because of the color. But what I love about these two shades is that they look stunning together. If you mix them, I know that they'll actually, you know what, I'm just gonna do that in the back of my hand. I have these little squatches. Did I say squatches? Oh my God. So I'll give you full swatches of everything in a minute, but I just mixed those two shades and they just combine to make the most beautiful medium gold. It's like, but it's still got that pale gold overtone. Oh, it's so beautiful. I would love to use that all over my cheeks. That's so pretty. I wish, I actually kind of wish I did that today. So what's great about this is obviously this would make a beautiful, beautiful highlighter for medium to deep skin. And then if you're kind of in between, or if you're someone who tans like I do right now, I am at my absolute fairest, but I do use a self tanner. So I can kind of mix these depending on my skin tone. And then finally we have the bronzer, which is so beautiful. I, again, I'm wearing that today as my bronzer. So it's perfect for, I would say light to medium skin. I definitely think this is the kind of shade that I can use when I have a tan. It's going to be a really natural finish for me, but I can also get away with using it when I am extremely fair, which is really hard to do for fair girls. It's really hard to find a bronzer that isn't going to pull really, really orange or red. I love that because you can kind of see it has a little bit more of a yellowy undertone to it, which probably doesn't sound extremely attractive, but it's going to warm up your skin and give it that natural tan look without being, like I said, too orange or too red. Those are the worst colors, the worst colors when we're talking about bronzer, especially for fair skin. The blush and the bronzer are the same formula. So again, it's really satiny. It just glides onto the skin. You can build it up or you can tone it down. It just melts into your face. It's absolutely beautiful. I think that Kylie has really figured out her, her powders. They are some of my favorite powders. I haven't used any of her like single blushes or single highlighters, but this palette is perfection. I think this is perfect for traveling in my personal opinion um, because of the blush, bronzer, and the highlighters. You can mix kind of everything. Like today for my blush, I mixed the bronzer and the blush so that it wasn't too pink. 
and I absolutely love the way it looks. I think that this is incredible, and if you can get your hands on it, I don't know if they're doing a restock, but um, if you can get your hands on it, definitely think you have to. And the bronzer is called Hollywood Boulevard. But like, look at that highlight though. All right, so next up, we're going to be talking about the liquid lipsticks plus lip gloss. Uh, so this is my first experience with Kylie's lipsticks and lip gloss. I've never tried them before. I love the packaging. I think it's fantastic. The, I'm probably late to the game, but it's basically the exact same packaging. The component, I mean, is exactly the same as ColourPop. Um, pretty much entirely the same. No, they are exactly the same component. These just, you know, they have the gold metallic on them and I love the drips. I think it's fantastic. It's so pretty. And then you have the cut out letters so you can see the actual shade. All right, so let's see, what are we working with here? So Doll is what I'm wearing today. It's this amazing orange shade. It's like this hot, fiery orange. It's not quite red, but it's not too orange. It's kind of like in between an orangey red, but it's not quite an orangey red. It's incredible. It's the color that you always see Chloe wearing in every photo. She's always got that like beautiful hot orange lip. It looks incredible on her tan skin um, with her hair. It looks amazing. I've been dying to find a lipstick like this forever. So when I saw that they were doing the collection, I was like, I have to get that. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect orange because it doesn't make your teeth look yellow. You have to be very careful with orange lipstick. The color is so incredible and unique in my opinion. I haven't found a color like this, an orange like this that doesn't make my teeth look yellow. That I actually like when I'm wearing, when I have fair skin. Hot oranges like this always look amazing with tan skin, but you're not always so sure when you're fair because you don't have that like bronzy, warm undertone, you know? So especially on someone like me, I'm olive. I have a very olive undertone, so I wasn't quite sure if this was gonna work when I was fair, but it oh, looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, I mean, you guys can be the judge. Next up, we have Baby Girl, which is this really beautiful kind of salmon-y coral shade. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not something that I would typically love. And I tried it on when I, I tried it on yesterday and I don't have a tan and I don't think that I like it when I don't have a tan because it's a little bit too light for me, but it is a really pretty shade. And I think that this would look incredible, especially on someone with tan skin. I definitely want to try it when I have a tan and see how I like it. I did mix it with Bunny and it looked incredible. I did an ombre and it was amazing. So it's, an, it's a nice liquid lipstick to be able to mix with something. It's not the color, the kind of color that I would want to wear on its own. Next up is Bunny. This is a... These are the colors that I absolutely live for. It's a really cool toned mauve or mauve, however you say it. So it's not quite on the grayish side, but it's getting there and it's deep enough that it works because I'm not a huge fan of mauves. I think that they pull too red or too pink on me, but this one, because it's cool tone, looks absolutely incredible. I love the shade. I think the medium tone of it is really beautiful. And I think it's going to, I definitely think that it's gonna work on the majority of skin tones. It's almost on its way to being cool, but it's still got a little bit of warmth in there. You know what I mean? All right, and last we have the gloss. This is Sugar Plum. This is very interesting. I didn't think that I was going to like this gloss. It's kind of a bronzy nude, which I wasn't expecting. And it has a very, very fine gold pearl. It smells very, very sweet. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about the applicator, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the formula itself is really, really shiny and comfortable and it doesn't go anywhere. It feels slippery on your lips when you put them together, but it doesn't slide off. It stays put. It doesn't like start dripping down your lips or, you know, bleeding. But I did just wear this in my last video that I filmed and I actually really like it. I didn't think that I was going to, but I really, really like it. And I think it's because it's not too nude and it has that bronzy tone to it. Mm, it smells so good. All right, next up, I just wanna talk about the applicator. So on the li liquid lipsticks, it's the same as I reviewed, did I review it? The Kim collab? I did, right? Uh, it's the same as that, and I'm not a huge fan. They're kind of small, hard on the lips. I wish that they were a little bit larger and more flexible. If it was a little bit larger and then tapered on the ends and more flexible, I think I would like it a lot more. But it is, it's really stiff and tiny, and it kind of makes you put the liquid lipstick on a little bit streaky because it is really liquidy. So when you first put it on, I mean, you gotta go over it back and forth and back and forth and blend it out a lot so that it doesn't look streaky. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Just the applicator itself, it's not that big a deal. I was able to make it look even and it's not like it's extremely difficult, but I just, I don't know, they're not very comfortable. I don't really like the way they feel on my lips. And then as far as the gloss applicator, um, I don't mind it. I actually do kind of like the brush, but uh, I do feel like it's kind of short. I don't know, it was 
it was, I had to keep dipping in to get more product because the applicator itself is very, it's just the, br the bristles are really short. So you can't put on a whole lot of product at once. You had to, you kind of have to like keep going back and forth and then it makes it a little bit more difficult to get like a nice swoop, if you know what I mean? A nice even swoop of product. So I had to keep kind of like smacking my lips together so that I would blend it out. I don't really understand that. I think both of them, they're just like a little bit too small. So the Coco Collection bundle was $75. I personally think that that's a great value for the products. I think that the packaging is just like really stunning. I absolutely love it. The packaging alone, honestly, I think it's worth that. I fell in love with all of the colors. I wasn't entirely sure because I didn't really like the Kim K colors as much, but these ones were just incredible. And as soon as I saw Doll, the color that I'm wearing right now, I was like, stop everything. I have to get that. And I was, I was really happily surprised with Bunny. I think that that's beautiful. And then, like I said, the corally shade, Baby Girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying it out. I'm gonna keep trying it out, but I think that it would look really beautiful ombre with this color as well. So I might try that a little bit. And then I really wasn't expecting to like the gloss. I just kind of thought, oh, whatever, I'll take one for the team, you know, and have like an extra gloss and who cares. But I, I'm, I'm into it. I like it. She surprised me with that. And now I think I'm gonna have to go back onto the site and check those out. The one thing that I will say about the liquid lipstick formula is that it is pretty dry. It's not, too drying where I just couldn't wear it. Like I could definitely wear this as a liquid lipstick because I'm used to liquid lipsticks being dry, but it is, it's it's pretty drying. I would say uh, it compares to like an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, maybe a little bit better than that. I did two layers of this. And once I went in with the second one, it was just kind of like, kind of thick, getting a little bit chunky on my lips. And then when I put my lips together, a big part of this area, came off and I had to go back in with more. So I think if you're going to apply it, try to do, if you're gonna do two layers, try to do two thinner layers so that you're not building up way too much product or try to get a nice even coat the first one in and then try to keep your lips separated while it dries. Cause if they touch, you're just gonna screw everything up. And then I have absolutely no complaints, absolutely no complaints about the face palette. I think that the highlighters are stunning. I love the blush, I love the bronzer and I think I'm gonna be wearing it all summer long. Like, that highlight though. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it helped you if you're interested in getting the Coco Collection. I'm assuming that they will be restocking soon for another launch. I don't know for sure. If you did get it, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of that stuff is listed below. Pretty much if you just search Alexandra Nelle, you'll find me. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. A little, it's not too warm, it's not. Wow, I am so hungry right now.